Hey, what's going on everyone? Lorian here. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about some lore that I had been discussing with Brand Morgan on the Discord channel for Hunt Showdown. Um, I kind of got into this game. It's kind of the first game I've really kind of dove into the lore, but I really think I got some some good ideas going here. So just sit back and let me know what you think after you hear all this stuff. Uh, the first thing I want to step into is the timeline for which this event is happening with the game. So there's this play going on, there's zombies running around, there's demonic spiders and and all sorts of stuff just happening to this small little Louisiana bayou town. Um, I wanted to get a timeline for when the plague started to where we are now because I, it kind of will help out with, you know, where, what was going on before, what should be going on, where were the hunters before all this, what was going on with the American Hunters Association, all that stuff. Um, but in the passage, Process of Elimination, on the HuntTheGame.com website, and it's their little, little bit of lore that they have on the website, I was reading, I was reading it and trying to put together uh, just a good, like, where are we in time kind of thing. Uh, something stood out to me. Well, a couple things stood out to me. Uh, one, in the passage it says that wood is rotting. Now, depending on what kind of wood it is, which at the bayou, I'm pretty sure cypress is the most abundant, um, it could take a large stump 10 years to rot. But I don't think the devs want to stretch back 10 years. I don't think they want this plague to be going on for 10 years, because it would have spread and all sorts of craziness. So, if we go by food preservation for the 1800s, and we say this is a somewhat middle-class town, we can assume that most of the meat was either fat capped or salt cured and hung. Fat cap requires you to store it in a cool location like a basement. This process can help the meat last up to a month and basically what you do is you take the fat off the animal you're about to eat, you boil it, and then you pour it on top of the meat. And what it does is it solidifies and keeps the oxygen out, which is what bacteria needs to form on meat is oxygen, so it, it helps out with that process. Um, the other process is salt curing and hanging. This requires a month of salting, then six months of hanging. Think of like a really slow jerking process, uh, but it's it makes the meat last a lot longer. So I think we are looking at a timeline of a month at the shortest to about six to seven months at the longest that this plague has been happening due to just the food processing and the, the v pictures that uh, we've seen in the games of the animals hanging there and stuff like that. So if we think of it that way, it uh, gives us a really short, exact timeline of when this kind of may have started and how long it's been going on. And also, the wood that is being described as rotting in the passage is a part of a foundation, so obviously it's not as thick as the stump. So that helps line up the time with the wood rot and the food rot and stuff because with it being on the foundation, it's going to rot a lot faster because it doesn't have as much wood for the rot to go through. I presented this idea to Brand Morgan on the Discord channel for Hunt Showdown for the lore discussion and he liked it and had some good ideas like has this plague been around forever? Obviously it hasn't because of the timeline that I just gave you. Has the American Hunter Association been around? forever or were they just around for the revolution the civil war first colonies like when were they created and then has the hunters association how long have they been around and who has been their enemy over the years and what have they been doing so those were also some great questions which sent me into my next point which really kind of started kicking off some crazy ideas and crazy lore ideas that you can actually from what's been given to us in the lore on the web page you can actually tie this in to what I'm about to say. In the passage, The Trials of Dr. Reed, Dr. Reed states, I am spider, I am scorpion, I am moth. In the Hebrew language from the Dead Sea Scrolls, Mastima is an angel associated with moths. He is considered the angel of disaster, the father of all evil. It stems from the Hebrew word Mastima, meaning hatred, hostility, enmity, or persecution. Constantly we are shown texts with references to moths or even zombies with moths coming out of them. Moths are a constant in this game, so it leads me to believe that we are dealing with some kind of demon that started this plague, either from conjuring or something else. In reference to I Am Scorpion, 
Scorpions are talked about in the Christian Bible book of Revelation, and they are associated with extreme torment. And this is a passage from Revelations. And their torment was the torment of a scorpion, when he striketh man. So with all of this in mind, if we are dealing with Mastima, the demon causing the corruption, and associating scorpions with the torment of the land and the people, and the spider as a boss in the game, I'd like to propose that the AHA has been around since the biblical era, because the letter that Philip Huff Jones, which is the leader of the AHA, what he wrote does not give any indication of surprise or confusion to what is happening leading me to believe that he's known about these horrors for a while. And it may not be the AHA that existed forever. The AH, AHA might be a branch from a deeper and older chapter of Hunters and the Hunters Association. I'm still trying to figure out a timeline, but um, some of the dialect that I've picked up on in, and researched in the lore that's been provided, uh, there, at the end of the, doc, the Trials of Dr. Reed, there is two sentences, the very last two sentences, and they are completely just gibberish. At least that's what everyone says. But the first to last sentence, yeah, the first to last sentence, the last four words, you can actually copy and paste on a Google and search, and it comes up as a Homeric dialect. Now, everybody knows who Homer is. He's the guy who wrote Iliad and the Odyssey back in 726 BC. So if Dr. Reed is actually speaking this Homeric dialect, that means there's been monsters and demons since that time period. We can, we can assume that, it's, that there's been monsters and demons since that time period. So we can assume that we've had hunters since, the 720, since 726 BC, which will give us a timeline of hunters that reach back 2,744 years, and that's from the 1800s or 1890 to 1890 AD to 726 BC. That's the 2,744 years, which then led me to another conclusion or theory. What if the first hunters were apostles? Now I understand apostles were when Jesus walked the, walked the earth and stuff. Um, in the Christian Bible, it talks about angels laying with humans. What if the very, very first hunters were the offspring of this, and that's how the hunters can see the clues on the map and banish the bosses because of the power that courses through their bloodlines? Now, this is all just theory and speculation and just kind of trying to put bits and pieces together, but I thought this would be a really good base, and I wanted to share it with everybody so i hope you guys enjoyed and please leave a comment and let me know what you think let me know where you think the lore can go or if you can spin off of this lore or whatnot if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and subscribe we could really use the support we're trying to get to that 500 so we can actually get an alpha key to play the the hunt showdown and give you guys more uh content and be sure to tell all your friends all right this is lauren i'll see you guys later